The new YouTube apocalypse is happening again, and it's all thanks to one journalist who got pissy at a YouTube channel for calling him names. Steven Crowder's channel got demonetized by YouTube because he called a journalist from Vox named Carlos Maza bad names, including names that he called himself fast. The video that he got pissy on, which I will link to my blog post, was a video where Crowder called him out for fear-mongering people by saying that they are unconsciously watching Fox News, which is pretty much the latest response video from Crowder to Vox. This this tweet in particular shows highlights of Crowder hurling insults for a minute and a half. But the problem is, Crowder's video goes on like 10 to 20 minutes on his rebuttals. There are many other arguments that he said on that specific video, but he didn't rebut any of them. He just focused on the insults because he didn't like it, and he can't respond to anything else other than, oh no, this guy called me poopy head on the internet. What was that about you having thick skin again? I'm pressing X on that. Why is it always Vox that causes stir in the YouTube community? They did that with the tech YouTubers, which you can learn more about that in this video, in my Medium post or the top right link. They tried to do that with PewDiePie when they promoted ER, which again, you can learn more about in this video, link in the block on the top right. And now they did that to political satire and commentary channels. I try not to talk about things that are strictly politics on this channel, but I'm just entirely pissed that YouTube tries to appeal to the absolute worst people. Crowder makes jokes on the internet the same way other political comedians do. Some of them are insults. This is not new. This is comedy. This is something that a lot of comedians do. But it appears that when the comedy is making fun of the right people or promoting the right ideas, that's perfectly fine. When the comedy is making fun of the wrong people, that's where you're demonetized. That's where your channel got banned. That's where we have to rally together to fight against this injustice. This caused Crowder and many other channels to get either demonetized or have their videos removed, including from someone that Carla supported. This is on you. You, Carlos, you did this. You caused YouTube to panic and make stupid decisions like this. And the best part about this entire thing is that despite Crowder having his entire channel demonetized, it's not good enough for these censors. This guy wants him to be straight up banned. It's not enough. The fact that you are speaking on the platform at all is warrant for banning. Like I said before, this Carlos Manza guy doesn't focus on any of the arguments that Crowder raised on his videos, which there are tons. He's going to focus on the pettiest thing that Crowder did and use that as his ammunition to justify his attack. You're not allowed to hurl insults at anybody anymore on YouTube. You can only focus on their arguments. Now that's not necessarily bad, but how can I and so many other YouTubers comply to this rule of zero insults when people like you are also prone to hurling insults in your videos too? Not just insults, but spreading straight up misinformation. Information. It's a serious double standard that YouTube and many of these social media platforms are well known for. I'm actually less surprised on this issue and more on the fact that there are still many controversial figures who are still able to stay on YouTube without being banned entirely. Oh sure, they got demonetized and their videos removed, but they're still able to have a platform and voice their opinions, which is freaking amazing. At least we know that we can piss off the censors by merely existing. This isn't really about Crowder. I'm no fan of his content and I certainly don't find his style of insults or even his brand of comedy in general to be something worthy of praise, but even so, the principles still stand. There are many people out there, even people whom I agree with, who articulate their arguments in a way that I personally wouldn't have done. But it doesn't mean that they should either be banned or censored. Disagreeing with how you articulate your arguments should never be grounds for any censorship. Censoring people doesn't work. This would only net Crowder more subscribers and he will be the victim of this scenario. He is the victim of this scenario, and so many other YouTubers in the future who are making these sorts of controversial content. I haven't been entirely demonetized by YouTube, mostly because I haven't been making enough content as of late, and the delivery of my arguments aren't as provocative as many other YouTubers. You don't have to worry about me, but if you are, well, you can support me on the links down below. Hurling insults and making fun of people will be reserved for the meme streams, and that's where I got demonetized the most. But the bottom line is this. If you're gonna resort to censorship and you find ideas that you don't like on the internet, instead of either ignoring them or replying to them with better ideas, that's where we know that you've lost the argument. This is much worse than hurling insults. At least Crowder has the balls to reply to you, where the best thing that you can do is to hide behind Principal YouTube and tell them to punish the naughty bully calling him names because you constantly spread misinformation and your entire publication constantly hates on this platform and what it represents to independent content creators, whether it be political commentators or tech channels. Some of of whom
whom, by the way, noticed this ridiculous controversy. Here's the bad news, Fox, and to you, Carlos. Welcome to the real world. You talk garbage on the internet, you do garbage things on the internet, you're gonna get hit. Preferably with milkshakes. Oh, is that a call for violence you hear? Not really. I'm just following your advice.